Hawaii is a paradise of beautiful rainforests, pristine beaches, and gas emissions. Wait, what? We sent Marina to find out what's up with those. I'm here at Kilauea, a volcano that emerged from the ocean over 100,000 years ago. And while it isn't always erupting, it is always emitting volcanic gases. Today, I'm meeting with Patricia Nadeau, a volcanologist who can tell me exactly what those gases mean. So I started my career as a volcanologist in college by majoring in geology. Took a lot of different geology classes and volcanology was my favorite one. There's not all that many people who study volcanic gases, but I was interested in it, so that's how I ended up here. Here is the scenic Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, where Trisha and her team use specific tools to analyze volcanic gases and temperatures, which can alert them to the growing volcanic activity, signaling possible trouble in paradise. So how hot does it get down there? So we actually have a tool that tells us exactly that. So I can take this, which is called a thermocouple, can unroll it, and stick it down what's called our fumarole here, and it will tell us exactly how hot it is where we're sampling those gases. It's kind of like taking a blood sample. You analyze your blood chemistry, we're analyzing this. So you're analyzing what the volcano is putting out. But once we get our sample, we send it off to our colleagues in the chemistry lab, and they can tell us after they analyze it how much of what gases is in the sample. And as Trisha tells me, magma has a number of gases, including water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur gases. Magma is the melted or molten rock under the Earth's surface. At all volcanoes, the pressure from these gas bubbles drives magma up to the surface to cause eruptions. And really high gas pressure can mean an explosive eruption, similar to what happens when you shake up a soda in a bottle and the gas wants to escape. So we should like walk really quietly and try not to shake things up? Yeah, don't disturb the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we know the proportions of the gas, how do we know the volume? To get at the volume, or what's known as the emission rate of the gases, we have a completely different technique. And I can actually show you that. Great, let's go. These techniques help Trisha and other volcano doctors diagnose what's going on with volcanoes so they can understand the hazards better. In order to warn the public, staff. We have a car here, but how do you use a car to measure the volume of gas coming out of a volcano? The car is just going to get me there. I'm actually going to be using what's called a differential optical absorption spectrometer, which is what all of this is part of. The less ultraviolet light that we measure, that means there's more sulfur dioxide above the car. So basically, you go from one side of the volcano to the other, measuring sulfur dioxide, and whatever's in between, that's from the volcano. Exactly, there's not really sulfur dioxide in background atmosphere. So if you're near a volcano and you're measuring sulfur dioxide, it's a pretty good bet that it's from the volcano. And if there's a lot, does that mean the volcano is becoming more active? Yeah, it usually is a pretty good correlation. More gas, more lava, more volcano activity. So you take the car out, you drive over the volcano, but how close can you get? With the car, I stay on the road. Sometimes I'll fly a drone in to either take videos or get gas samples. So the drone allows us to get measurements and images where we can't go. So you do chemistry, you do math. You're a drone pilot. Yep. You're a triple threat. You do everything. Anything to understand the volcano better. OK, so I'm ready to go. I call shotgun. Unfortunately, no. So where the volcanic gases go, it can be sometimes in dangerous levels. Mm. So the road is closed to the public. I can go down there because I'm a volcanologist, but unfortunately, I can't bring you. If I get a PhD, can I come? In volcanology, sure. <laughs> this has been so fun. Thank you so much for taking me around today and showing me all of this. I'll never look at volcanoes the same way. This is so interesting. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. Wait. I want to touch the plume! Dang it. Find my own plume. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.